So I bought the Google Stadia in 2022, but the real question is why? I mean, as you guys probably heard, Google is shutting down the Stadia service in January of 2023, which is pretty ironic considering their Twitter team uh, tweeted about a month ago that they're not going to shut down Stadia, and now they are. So it's kind of funny they did that. But uh, for me personally, I decided I wanted to pick this thing up one more time to give it one last go before it's gone forever. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. So here it is. We have the Stadia Premiere Edition, and as you can see, it is sealed. Uh, it's actually pretty dusty, which is not surprising. Been sitting on a shelf for a few years, probably. Yeah, it's actually a nice looking box, pretty clean one place for all the ways we play. And so now if we flip this over to the bottom, it tells us what it comes with. So it says what's included, Stadia controller, clearly white, I guess. Is clearly white the actual color or if the, are they just telling me it's clearly white? I don't know. USB-C to A cable, power adapter, uh, Google Chromecast Ultra and power adapter with integrated cable. So the, the Chromecast Ultra will actually be useful after the fact. So it's not completely, not completely a waste. Now with the controller, I think you can hook it up wired to a PC and use it. It's still not available wirelessly. Hopefully they fix that but uh like i said this thing is essentially a brick i paid about 50 bucks for this thing which is obviously too much for a uh, device that is pretty much extinct now i mean we have a few months left but um at this point like I i'd be interested in how many people are actually playing stadia not many clearly i mean that's why they shut it down but i actually did buy the stadia when it first came out and i sold it pretty quickly because i mean the google stadia is the exact reason why people don't want online only because google essentially can shut it down at any time now they apparently are giving hardware refunds to people who bought through the Google store, I think. Software though, you're just out of luck. Let's go ahead and open this up. It actually is a pretty nice box. It kinda slides out. Oh, there we go. All right, so here's the controller and it's actually a, oh, that's actually a pretty heavy duty controller. So like I said, I have, I did buy this thing in the past, but it's been a few years. I bought it on launch and I don't remember it at all. That's actually a very nice feeling controller. The triggers feel nice. Those are clicky. Buttons are all clicky. And then if we open this up, we have our power brick. Uh, got a USB-A port on it. And then we have a nice little uh, cord right here, USB-A to USB-C, like I said, on the box. And then we got something in here, um, I guess some sort of manual. And I mean, it is pretty nice packaging. They did not skimp on the uh, cool unboxing factor, that's for sure. You set up the controller. Basically, you plug in your Chromecast Ultra, set up your controller, uh, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, and I mean, I, I guess at this point, you guys probably realize that the Stadia is just a, it's literally just a Chromecast and a, and a controller. Um, it's all online. That's just the, the whole purpose of it is there's no hardware. You just you play through the cloud. And here's your power brick for the Chromecast Ultra. And here's the Chromecast Ultra. And like I said, this device is actually useful um, after the fact because you can still stream uh, via Chromecast to your TV. Otherwise, it's pretty much a brick. I mean, if they do allow us to use this controller on wirelessly on the other devices eventually, then um, it may not be a complete waste because this is a very nice controller. So packaging away, we're down to our components now. So let me try to figure this out. So this plugs into the wall. So this goes together. This is how you power, power your Chromecast. And then to charge your controller, you use this cable right here, uh, plug it into the wall, charge it up. Not sure how much battery life this has, but it's pretty. it's a pretty heavy boy. So I imagine it's got uh, pretty solid battery life and I mean just look at the detail of this thing you got the nice Google logo on the back I love the orange to black and white contrast you even have your aux port down at the bottom I'm assuming that's a mic back there not sure to be hunt to be honest but let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see see what it's like to play Google Stadia in 2022 before they shut it down this video is sponsored by Masterworks so guys I want to tell you about the most expensive thing in my collection now this right here is the portable GameCube uh, it's a custom piece that I purchased for about $800. It's actually worth closer to $1,500, but uh, that seems crazy, right? But, you know, to us custom portable collectors out there, it's just, it's normal. It's supply and demand. You know, since this is a completely custom piece, there aren't many out there. And as long as the number of, of consoles in the wild is low, you know, the price will just keep going up. Now, imagine a collection being so in demand, it sells for a billion dollars. And obviously, I'm not talking about portable GameCubes anymore, since you'd need about a million of these to be worth a billion dollars. But I'm talking about this guy right here. Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen uh, and his billion dollar art collection. And you know, we've seen headlines about crazy auction totals, even in video games, they've been going for crazy amounts in the last few years. And you know, financial advisors and big businessmen like Paul Allen, they know how to use art as an investment. Just look at this headline. Investors should buy real assets from wine to art, says Bank of America. Because in times like these with high inflation, art is even more in demand. In fact, the last time inflation was this high, contemporary art appreciated in value more than real estate and even more than gold at an average of 33% per year. And just like the art market is seeing demand rise, so is our sponsor, Masterworks. They let you invest in this contemporary art for a fraction of the full cost because they break their paintings down into shares so you can pick how much you want to invest. And don't worry, it's not NFTs, it's not crypto. These are actual paintings from legends like Picasso and Banksy. 
and Masterworks has delivered 29% net return so far from the sale of six paintings, including one last month for a return of 33.1%, uh, which is obviously pretty good. And as a result, Masterworks has had to acquire and release more art uh, on their platform to meet demand, and you know, there is a waitlist now. But lucky for you guys, you can skip the waitlist, just hit that link down below. So we're all plugged up now in Google Stadia and it wants me to get the app. So go ahead and download and open the Google Home app. All right, I do have that already. So let's go ahead and do that. And here on my phone, it already says set up Chromecast Ultra. I'll click on that. It found my device. Now it is connecting. All right, so I'm finally connected up to my Chromecast Ultra and it is now updating, classic. Uh, looks like it's gonna be pretty quick though. The funny thing is I was trying to type in that this is in my office, but I accidentally put an R instead of an E. So it says officer. <laughs> officer TV. All right, so it looks like we're finally updated and rebooting back up. Uh, that setup process reminded me of Xbox's setup process where you have to go through your app and do a bunch of updating and stuff. And now I'm on my phone. Uh, so now I have to download a Google Stadia app as well. So not just Google Home, but Google Stadia. And as you can see on the App Store, it has a 3.2 rating, which is really great. So while I'm waiting for it to boot up, I decided to check out the ratings and reviews on the App Store. And every single recent review is about Stadia going away, good, bad Stadia, needs an update, could be better, shutting down forever, won't even let me create an account. It's always funny seeing those, but here we are. All right, cool, so we are finally connected up, and so now we need the Stadia app. First, set up your Stadia controller in the app. All right, cool, so I gotta go back to the app now. So I go in the app, click on controllers, connect, click connect controller. Oh, you can actually use a PlayStation or Xbox controller, I did not realize that, but we'll go ahead and do the Stadia controller since that's what I have here. And if you hold down the button in the middle, it turns on, apparently, and now it sees it. So the interesting thing about Stadia is you actually have to connect your controller to Wi-Fi as well as your Chromecast. So this is not going to connect to the Chromecast, it connects straight to Wi-Fi. <laughs> and now, of course, we're waiting for the controller to update itself. So we got to update everything, not surprising. I mean, this thing has never been opened, so we just got to wait. So the app says we're finally ready to play. I just have to hit the button sequence on the screen. So A, X, B, up. There we are. All right, cool. Controller is linked. Let's go ahead and get started. Use your phone to add an account. Come on, man. I already did this. All right, so I think we're finally done now. I've thought this for about 15 minutes, but here we go. All right, got an account for Stadia and we're booting up now. And I think I might actually already have some games on here because I created a Stadia, Stadia account. Like I said, I actually bought Stadia uh, when it first came out and I had an account back then. And I think I might've had a few games that came for free. And it says we can browse and buy games on Stadia.com or the Stadia mobile app. Not sure if that's still true or not. How do I do this? All right, cool. All right, so I press the button in the middle, pulls up this little menu, we got messages connection, controller, options. I'm trying to find if I have any games here, but kind of cool looking through the settings. So we have Chromecast volume, game volume, voice chat volume, who you're speaking to, surround sound, you can do automatic, Stadia screen reader, oh, okay. Uh, performance, so you can actually change the resolution. I'll do 1080p, and you can actually turn on, turn on HDR if you have that. And so how do I access my games or, it says I have to browse and buy games on the app. So let me try to do that and see if I have anything available. Apparently it says I have $10 off your next game purchase, but I could have sworn I already had a couple of games just because I had this. Oh, here it is. Stadia will wind down 18th of January, 2023. The Stadia store is now closed, but I still have $10 off my next game purchase. So how do I, I swear, if I can't play any games, I'm going to lose my mind. All right, so I can't buy any games, but if you sign up for the pro account, you get some games for free. So maybe if I... Pro account doesn't work, so I can't even sign up for Pro. Is that, are you serious? As far as I can tell, this purchase was absolutely useless because I, I cannot even use it. I can't even play games, I can't do anything. Like, as you can see, I'm scrolling through the website or through the app right here, and it says I have $10 off your next game purchase, but it doesn't give me the option to buy anything. And even these games that say Pro, $0, I click Claim with Pro, and it says something weird happened, try loading the page again, which basically tells me they disabled it and I can't do anything. Uh, honestly, I could have sworn I had a couple games because like I said, I bought Stadia a long time ago and I thought I had a few free games. If I did, these are those are not available anymore, which is awesome. I'm going to go on my computer and see if I can somehow sign up for Stadia Pro. Uh, I'm not expecting much, but we'll give it a try. So here's something interesting. I just logged into Stadia on my computer and apparently I can play a free trial on my computer, my Mac screen, but not on Chromecast or my app. Let me just show you. So. Uh, first of all, I was just scrolling through here, kind of the same setup, uh, but it's obviously on your computer instead of the app or um, on your TV. And where did I go? First of all, let me connect this controller. All right, so my controller is now linked to my PC, apparently. Like I said, you're come on, come on here, and if you click, click on the game, you can actually do a free trial. So I actually already started a free trial on this Hot Wheels Unleashed. Let me just show you another one, though. 
there was a couple of games where I saw a free trial looking for aliens. There you go. So it says play for 30 minutes. So if I click on that, it'll actually load up in full screen and let me play for about half an hour. That's the only way I've found so far to play games if I haven't already purchased them. I could have sworn I had some games in my library from when I bought this thing back in 2019, but apparently not. So we're going to try out some free trials and uh, see how this works. So right now I'm using my, using my mouse, but apparently my Google Stadia controller is connected to my, my MacBook right now and I can actually, actually play. So if you want to play some Google Stadia games, this is your way to play for until they shut it down all the way. I'm sure they're going to like patch this soon because I don't think this is supposed to be able to be used, but I don't know. We're apparently looking for aliens now. Never heard of this game. Probably just some sort of little indie, indie game. Usually costs 20 bucks, which sounds expensive for an indie game. But yeah, use my controller right now and it's pretty laggy. Like as you can see, it's kind of skipping around and it's not even like a real intense game. I mean, come on. My internet's good too. I got a uh, gigabit down and 35 megabits up. Of course, I'm on Wi-Fi, so my, I'm not actually going to get gig down, but it'll probably be like five or 600, which should be plenty. I'm not sure why it's skipping around like this. But I mean, that's like, that's another one of the big issues with these, uh, this Google Stadia. I mean, it's using, it's going through the cloud. Uh, so your, you know, your lag times are always going to, there's always going to be lag more so than if you're connected straight to your, to your, uh, your PC or your, your game console, whatever, but yeah, no idea what I'm doing, but it is working. It's just kind of jumps around and laggy, which is kind of disappointing to be honest for a game of this stature. Let me go back to, um, how was my game session? I'm going to say bad. Not that it matters anymore because they're closing it down anyway. I'm going to go back to this Hot Wheels Unleashed just because it looked interesting and a racing game should be something that's easy to, or good to try out on Stadia and kind of check out the lag. From what I just saw, I'm not expecting a whole lot, but I, I guess we'll see. All right, let's see if we can start a race up. As you can tell, it's like very jumpy right now. So not the best experience, but this looks like it'd be a fun game if it was working properly. Hot Wheels are always pretty sick. Uh, I used to play with Hot Wheels all the time when I was a kid. They actually have a like a Hot Wheels mode in Forza, which are some Hot Wheels tracks, which is awesome. But I mean, as you can see, it, it's pretty jumpy. Again, that could be my connection, but like I haven't had any issues with my connection all day. So at this point, I don't trust Stadia. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume it's Stadia. Like, to be honest, when it's not jumpy, uh, it seems to actually be pretty reactive and it's not lagging that much. It's just very jumpy, which is odd. But I mean, that's Stadia for you guys. Uh, honestly, it does not matter at this point because they're shutting it down soon. And, you know, it's about how I expected. Uh, obviously, we can't do everything. We can't really do anything except for play some free trials. And now that I used up my free trials, I'll never be, never be able to play them again unless I use a different account or whatever. But, I mean, that's Google Stadia for you. It's a failure, an epic failure. Uh, let me know down below if you guys still have Google Stadia, if you had ever had Google Stadia, and thanks for watching.